SGC here and we are back for a first impression. This is The World of the Married, episode 1. And this is a 2020 South Korean TV series starring the people down below. And it's based on a BBC One's drama series titled Dr. Foster starring Saran Jones. And it premiered on JTBC on March 27th. And currently, as of now, it is the second highest rated Korean drama ever. Like, it's still running. Um, so there's that. So what's it about? Well, basically, it's about a family medicine doctor. She is married to her husband, and they have a son. And she seems to have everything perfect, and it's great. But then later on, she finds out something happens to her, and she's betrayed by her husband and friends. And then the same side, like the husband loves his wife, but he just falls into a dangerous relationship. Thank you, Wikipedia. So going to that, I mean, like I watched Crash Landing on you and then noted that that was the third highest rated. And then this is the currently running second. So I was like, why not? And definitely it is a different vehicle. Um, it's not a romance comedy. It's much more drama driven and in terms of relations because we do have a sort of successful on the surface relationship marriage between our lead 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 actor and actress and then it slowly falls apart in the first episode at first it seems like we don't know what's going down what's going to happen is she just on edge she's just misunderstanding assuming things and then it slowly unravels and it's like wow a lot of twists and turns here, and I would say it, it definitely sets you up for something, and then it like pulls the rug under you type of vibe. And it's okay, because it's definitely what our main actress is feeling as she goes through the relationship of her day-to-day -day type of thing. But holy crap, when that episode ended, I was like, wow. Wow. There is how many episodes? There is 16 episodes. So I'm sort of glad that Korean dramas typically don't have like longer than two seasons. Because I mean, this this series is supposed to be 16 episodes and they're 70 minutes long. So they're a tad longer than what I'm normally used to already. So I'm like, wow, that's a lot of like stuff packed into this. So I do wonder where it's gonna go. I mean, typically I sort of know she's gonna unravel more and more, learn more and more, and it's gonna be more about the why. Why did this happen and how could you let this happen? Because I mean, if you've seen the first episode, you're just like, holy smokes. Like, I, I, I don't know. I wasn't expecting that ending. I just thought, I mean, I sort of knew what was coming, but then the, the scope and the, the scale of it all was just like, oh, 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 wow. And definitely, I mean, just comparing the two, because I watched them back to back, basically, it's interesting, like, of narrative and pacing issues, of just how this first episode establishes our characters, but also establishes the plot of the entire series of what's going to go down, versus, you know, again, Mr. Sunshine, where I swear it was just establishing character, and you still didn't know what's going to go down. And Crash Landing is, like, again, character first, and then the last scene, you sort of, oh, yeah, we expected that. But here, it's just like, you get to know them in 70 minutes, you're like, okay, this is the mom, this is the dad, the son, this is the relationship with this and that doctor, this and that friend, and it's just like, okay, what's what's going on? What can go down? So it's going to be interesting to uh, watch the rest of the series, and I do wonder where it's going to go. Like, 60 episodes, I would definitely say this is more of like a 10, 11 realm, and... I would be more like, yeah, there's enough content for that, but 16 might be stretching it. And already, 16 is sort of the new already. Because, like, you know, back in the day, you know, 10, 15 plus years ago, it used to be like, you know, 20, 30 episodes a season. And then now it's 16. So I do wonder, is it going to be dragging, or are we going to have a new narrative? It's going to cut in the middle, we learn more about something, and then something happens there's gonna be a new narrative to go down a new arc will there be two arcs who knows i don't know i i don't know i think i'm just getting influenced by the netflix algorithm i'm seeing so many korean dramas i'm just like okay maybe i should just watch at least the first episode and say my piece and be like at least i watched it and i did like it or like maybe get a better understanding of how like 
the TV, the Korean TV landscape is. So, I mean, it's different. But I did enjoy this one because it's just more... One thing that really stood out for me was that it didn't use the setting to to do to handle the romance. I think the last one I watched was like doctors or something, and then they're all doctors. And then being a doctor, they fell in love with each other. And the entire series is more about the romance, but they really pushed the whole like doctoring. But here it feels like it's the relationship that's first and foremost, and the doctoring is really on the background, and it's just. That's interesting. So, so I do wonder where it's gonna go. That's a big question mark. I, I am curious because of that twist. I mean, the pacing, the acting—it's typical. Nothing super standout-ish. Um, there is, in terms of cinematography, in terms of like a lot of hand-holding, in terms of like you know, suspect this person because of how their eyes move or how they structured like that dialogue scene of just like, hey, hints. But it really does get you into the the, the, the thinking of our lead. Uh, she is like s- slowly being suspicious of everyone around her. And you as a viewer, it's like, yeah, she's not crazy. She she has legitimate reason. And it just sucks that these things are legitimate. So there's that. So I do wonder, again, I keep saying that. It's just like, what's going to happen in the next 15 episodes? So I do wonder, and I'm curious, and I'm willing to, to continue down and hopefully, you know, be on time with the final impression. So that's it. Uh, Keep liking, keep watching, and subscribe and share. Because sharing is caring. And that is it for this first impression of the world of the married. So stay safe and stay healthy.